Hi guys, so this is a update to the AliExpress palaver. So my ear is playing up, it, oh, I can't hear out of it properly, so uh, that's really irritating me right now. So if you see me doing this a lot, really sorry. <laughs> okay, so I am going to let you guys know that AliExpress are still fobbing me off and I'm going to let you know the messages that have been sent to and from. I cannot believe how they are treating their customers and I'm never going to order from them again and um, I just really didn't expect this. So. I first messaged them, oh my god, my other one's just gone. Oh my life, what on earth is going on with my ears? Uh, I don't know. So if I start shouting, I'm really sorry. <sighs> anyway, so I sent a message on the 23rd of the 9th, 17. Okay? And this is the first message I sent. Hi, I was trying to track my package from the number you gave me. It's been over a month now. I thought it would be here by now. I did notice my mobile number was wrong, but this shouldn't affect. Uh, uh, this shouldn't. This shouldn't affect as everything else was correct. My tracking number is, and I gave them the tracking number. I said if you could assist me, as these were for a birthday that is next week. Thank you. So that was on the twenty third of the ninth, which is twenty third of September. They replied on the 25th saying, Hi friend, we did send good to you and now it is on the road to you. As you know, for international shipping, it need at least 35, 45 days. For some district need 40 to 60 days. Sometimes there may delay by local post or custom clearance. Please trust us and just wait more days. Any problems I will help to solve with you together don't worry so oops I just went off hold on two seconds so I thought okay try give you the benefit of the doubt blah 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 and then well I oh, found it again now sorry um so yeah, so that was the twenty third of the uh, the twenty fifth of the ninth. Sorry that they replied. So I then replied on the ninth of the eleventh. I left it as you guys can see. I left it long enough. My ear is really playing up, and I said I ordered these in August. I still haven't arrived. It's three months late. Where are my goods, please? And then I sent another one saying. I was in hospital so couldn't open a dispute. This is beyond a joke because when I went onto their website it said that the dispute date um, closed on the 3rd of that month, of the 3rd of the 11th and as you guys know I have been in and out of hospital and um, I didn't have any internet in hospital so I, I, didn't, I didn't know that the dispute date was going to be closed. So they then replied on the 9th of the 11th, same day, saying, sorry about the delay, it will come, please wait for patiently, and good moods. And I'm thinking, how can I have a good mood when it's taken three months and I still haven't received my goods? Whereas Wish and Doom come within a couple of weeks. And like, I ordered stuff from Wish and Doom at the same time, and eBay and Amazon, and I got my goods. I then replied on the 18th of the 11th, saying, That's all you keep saying is wait. I have waited since August. Just issue my refund for both pallets, please. I have... Res um... I haven't received and you are making no effort to try fix the issue. I have never had such bad customer service before. So, so angry 
These were meant as a gift. I have been so ill and do not need to put up with this. I suggest you sort this ASAP. Which is fair enough, right? I haven't sworn, I haven't kicked off. I'm getting very, very, very peed off at this point. And they still, they're, they're just still fobbing me off and telling me to have a good mood. Well, I'm sorry. How am I meant to have a good mood when you've basically stolen my money off of me? So they then replied on the 19th of the 11th. And they said, Dear friend, so sorry to know that you haven't received the item. We think it may arrive your country. If it is not... Uh, sorry, if it is not trouble, could you please kindly find it in your nearest post office or ask your neighbour, your neighbours, if they help you receive the parcel. And if it is still not arrived, we will refund you. Is that okay? Hope you reply. Nice day. Now, my neighbours haven't got it. My post office hasn't got it. They said that they'll issue me a refund. So I'm thinking, brilliant, you're going to give me a refund. Yes, I'll try and have a nice day. It's a bit hard when I'm still getting fobbed off. And also, on their website, when I check the delivery, like how far it is, you know, the tracking process, progress, sorry, it does not say it's in this country at all. It still says it's in the air somewhere. You know, it doesn't even say it's landed in this country. It says that it left China. And that's all it says. And I've gone on to the sunny U to try and track it even further from their site and stuff. And still soddle. So, on the 20th of the 11th, I replied. I have checked everywhere and nothing. Please refund full amount ASAP. This is appalling business contact, cu um, conduct. Sorry, Very disappointing service. I think I'm still doing very well to not swear at these people. Because I... I'm sat at home and I am cussing and I'm going mad and if if it was if they were closer and they were a store I would have gone down there and I would have sat on the floor and refused to move until they had sorted it out for me so they then replied on the 17th no sorry on the 20th of the 11th, 2017, I read the date back to front then. They said, sorry about the delay. It will come. Please wait for patient and good moods. Stop telling me to have a fucking good mood. It is hard to have a good mood when you are fobbing me off. You said that you'll give me a refund and you haven't. So, on the 21st, I reply again. I said... In your previous message, you said you were a refund. Now you're telling me to be patient. Make up your goddamn minds as to what you are doing. And sorry, hard to have a good mood when I'm constantly being messed around. How would you like it if somebody basically stole your money off you like you have me? See? So I'm starting to get a bit shittier in my t in my messages to them. They said that they're going to refund me. They're now saying, wait, have good mood. Where the fuck is my refund? Where is my parcel? On the 21st, they said to me, nice day. I am sorry for your long wait. Due to the peak season of buying, the shipment has some delay. Could you please wait more weeks? hope understanding no 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 i am not going to wait any more weeks as you can tell i am getting very very peed off you have not issued my refund it's like you've gone back on your word of issuing me a refund even though i have the messages to say that you said you would issue me a refund but no, you're going back on it. Why the fuck go back on it when you have told me that you're going to refund me? And I have the messages to fucking prove it. But no. So I replied on the 22nd. I ordered in August. 
that wouldn't be that much of a delay. Other places I ordered from, at the same time, I receive. Please just stick to your word and refund me. You are aware that stress puts me in hospital and you are stressing me out. Just refund me, like you said. And then I sent him another message saying, I can and I will take legal action against you. Do I have a reply? No, I don't have a reply yet. I am, the, and, and the seller is called Nikki Wu. Okay? I am so angry. One, you tell me you're giving me a refund. Two, you go back on your word of giving me a refund. Three, I ordered in frigging August. Why, why is there such a delay then? I, I can understand if I ordered close, closer to Christmas and the Christmas post delayed it. But that's not the case here, is it? No, it's not. And now I'm getting to have a nice day, have good moods, blah, 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 frigging blah. I am so furious. I, I just, I honestly do not know. What, oh. There's some of you that are putting up AliExpress videos because you have your packages and you supposedly have no problem. That's fine. That is entirely up to you guys. I'm not slating you guys. For all I know, you could be saying that you got it from AliExpress and you didn't actually get it from AliExpress or you just think that you got those from AliExpress. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Each to their own. I have been fobbed off, I have been ripped off, they've stolen my money and they are basically taking the piss out of me. Well I'm sorry but that is not how you do business. If it was me that was doing business like that I would do a full fucking refund and I'd give them something a little extra for all of the inconvenience that they have caused. But no, this stupid Nikki Woo woman just wants to keep going, yep, oh, I'll do this for you, oh, I'll do that for you. And does she do it? No, she freaking doesn't do it. Nobody order off AliExpress. Nobody order off Nikki Wu, okay? Wish, Joom, eBay, Amazon, I've had no problems with. AliExpress, I've only ordered from once. My address is all correct. To, oh. You can't even pay through fucking PayPal on AliExpress. And I thought that, no, it was Joom that I did PayPal with. I got it slightly confused on my other video. Um, how am I gonna get my money back? It's not like it's one, one pound or two pound. This is like 20 plus pound, okay? This, the, I do not work, I live on benefits, okay? Because I've been signed off work because of illnesses and other things like that's not relevant right now what is relevant is that they are money grabbing pricks who like to take off of people and do not like to refund when they realize that they are in the wrongs no i bet this fucking woman is on holiday after ripping off people and she's gone and took their money and now she's on a luxury vacation somewhere no doubt <sighs> I'm sorry if you guys think that I am inappropriate for making this video. I personally don't think that I am. I think people need to know what fucking piss-taking twats AliExpress are. Now, last time I uploaded a video ranting about AliExpress, I lost subscribers. Do you know what? It's obviously because you're so loyal to AliExpress that you don't want to hear somebody cunt them off. Well, I'm ever so sorry, but it, it's life. It's reality. It has happened. And I hope it doesn't happen to any of you guys, but if it does, then surely you can see how pissed off I am and why I'm this pissed off. <sighs> I have never been treated so badly through a business, company, whatever you want to call it. I have never got this angry from trying to order something. I am disappointed, I am disgusted, very disgusted that people can get away with this.
there is not enough people putting videos out when they get ripped off and then people are putting up wish is it legit yes wish is fucking legit aliexpress is not legit june is legit wish is it a scam no wish is not a scam ali friggin express is a friggin scam oh i'm gonna end this video here guys before i end up like just going absolutely batshit crazy I'm so angry. So, so angry. I don't know what to do now. I honestly do not know what to do now. I shall update you guys if and when they message me back. Which, I don't know if the issue will. Oh, I'll tell you what though. Fuck you now. I am never ordering off AliExpress again. AliExpress, in my opinion, go to fucking hell. Excuse my language, but I am pissed off. So pissed off. So pissed off, guys. I'm going to end it here.